Hey guys, Marilyn here. So I have a really cool video that I'm going to do today and that is uh, making your own bag labels. So if you're a handbag maker, which I recently became, um, and you want to put labels on your bags, you can do this using your Cricut and infusible ink markers. So this is one of the first bags. I mean, I've made totes like tote bags like simple tote bags and pouches before but um, I watched a tutorial here on uh, YouTube through the Oakla Roots channel and this bag is called the Can Do Project Bag. It's K-A-N-D-O-U and um, the tutorial is super easy so if you have a great teacher that can walk you through how to make it it's super easy don't be intimidated by it it does have pockets in the inside I absolutely love 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 this little bag so this has now become my sewing bag and I notice a lot of people are starting to put labels well not starting but people are putting their logos in uh, their labels on to their handmade items and I thought well I want to put my logo on my stuff <laughs> so I decided I was gonna make my own so with my handy dandy Cricut maker and my infusible markers we're going to do that today in today's tutorial <clears throat> so I've already done a couple run-throughs because I was like experimenting I've had this idea for quite some time and I just I'm now getting to executing it, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, so I'm over here. Ah, okay. So this is the first label that I came up with. How cute is that? So this is polyester fabric. This is actually one of the Cricut tote bags that I cut up. And then this is kind of a, a faded look, but I was practicing and I was kind of experimenting. And so I used my Cricut Mini Press to press this on. So obviously I didn't have enough heat and I didn't have enough pressure, but I actually like this faded look. After I did this, I tested out another one and I used my large press and you can see how much more vibrant this tag is versus the first tag. However, with this fabric and the color of the polyester, I actually like the faded look better than this one here on the right. Um, the other thing that I'm not loving about this one being so dark, I love the red star. However, my markers are 1.0. This logo will probably look better with a 0.4 pen versus the 0.1 that I'm using. But for tutorial purposes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in my logo once the Cricut draws it out to look like this. So I've already done a couple runs on that. So this is what my original logo looks like. My my Diaz Designs logo, that's why there's two Ds. <laughs> um, they're solid, right? And then my star has a black outline with the red star. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna color in the Ds and I'm just gonna let the Cricut draw out the complete red star. And then when I'm done doing this, I'll show you what the other samples look like because I was playing around with the logo. But I think this would be super cute inside if I included my logos inside my bags. Now, if I could perfect cutting with my rotary cutter and cinching with the lighter, which is a regular Bic lighter, um, you don't want to make sure you don't melt this. Um, so you just want to get close to the edge and then kind of cinch it so it kind of feels a little toasty on the bottom. Um, it's not perfect, but you know what? Once it's stitched on, I don't care. It's handmade. So, but I can uh, show you how to make your own labels. So let's get started. I keep my, my little sewing. So this is actually turned into my sewing bag now. So every time I sit down to sew, I have my cute little can-do project bag next to me. 
All right, so we're gonna use the infusible markers. Unfortunately, I don't have the point for, but I'm eager to get this tutorial started because I've been thinking about this tutorial for a long time. And so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. I've already set up my uh, computer with all my logos laid out so I can go ahead and have my Cricut Maker draw out my logo. Now, if you have a Cricut Joy or an Explorer machine and you have your compatible infusible markers, you can do that with your Joy and your Explorer as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my light grip mat here. And I'm just going to use regular 24 pound copy paper to draw out my logo. Make sure your image on your computer is set to mirror. Okay, so my computer is all set and ready to go. So let's go ahead and we need to insert the black pen first as it's being requested by. Cricut design space. We're going to snap that in and then we're going to hit this button real quick. And then we're going to let the Cricut maker draw it completely out. And then once this is done, I'm actually going to color in my logo. Now, there was a make and take not too long ago at Joanne Fabrics and they had an image which I have the bag here. They have this image on a black and white sheet of paper. And so you could essentially take any image, a coloring page and trace it, trace the entire page with your infusible marker so you can get the entire image and then color it in. If you don't trace the image, then you're not gonna get you're just gonna get like colors of flowers. Like for example, <clears throat> like the flowers here, if I wanted to just color in the flowers without tracing it, those dark lines would not be there. You would just see colors in a shape of a flower. But I kind of like the fact that this is actually completely traced so you can see all the detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the Cricut Maker draw out all my logos and then I'm gonna color them in and then I shall return. Okay guys, so now my Cricut Maker is asking me to switch out my second color. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my red infusible marker for my red star on my logo and then hit continue again. So that's not going to take too long, um, but once this is finished, I'm going to go ahead and color in most of all of these, and then I will be back to show you what my my coloring looks like. Hopefully, I'll stay within the lines, um, and then we'll go ahead and press this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and eject this. I'm going to take out my infusible ink marker. The first marker that I actually insert this morning, inserted this morning, I was it, it had zero ink in it. So I don't know what happened with that. Luckily, I had another black one here. So I'm going to go ahead and color in my logo but first when you peel off your paper make sure you do it this way um, you peel the mat off the paper versus peeling the paper off the mat so then you don't uh, create your paper with uh, so your paper doesn't curl up like that little ended right there so I'm gonna go ahead and color this in off of camera and then once I'm finished I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and press this to the polyester all right, guys, so I colored in some of the logos. I colored in all the stars, but what I'm going to do this time around, because I've already tried this a couple times and I'm still trying to figure out what I like the best um, as far as my personal logo goes, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And then I'm going to, because I lowered the temperature or the time on my larger heat press, instead of the full 90 seconds, which gives me this, uh, really dark logo even though I kind of like the faded look I'm gonna go in between that and do about 60 seconds so depending on what this or this looks like then it's gonna determine what I do with the last one um, but let's go ahead 
and tape this to the polyester fabric, AKA my cut up uh, Cricut tote bag. All right, we're gonna save this one for now. And let's take the leftover of my bag here. And this was actually, hmm, let's see. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this off because this is kind of thick and raised. I'm not gonna use the seam ripper for that, but I'm gonna cut this off so this doesn't uh, get in the way of me uh, pressing on here because of the depth on that seam. So let's go ahead and cut this off real quick. Sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm just gonna cut off the top of the tote bag. I already cut off the straps to recycle that into a keychain or for a handbag strip or something. All right, for a wristlet. Okay, so this fits on this strip perfectly, so I'm gonna cut that off. And then let's just tape this down real quick. I don't need a whole lot of tape, so I'm just gonna use my heat resistant tape here that I got um, from, from TRW. We're just gonna tape that on there. And then we're gonna tape this on. Now this fabric really, really frays a whole lot. So it's all over my scissors. It's all over my rotary cutter. It's like everywhere right now. I'm just gonna cut that off right there. All right, so just make sure this is nice and flat. And what I actually wanna do is I want to have my Cricut, my maker, cut some of this fabric for me as well. So what I'm gonna do, okay, this is not laying flat, Marilyn. Make sure it's laying completely flat. Okay. What I can do is put some tape along the sides. Um, I actually wanna have my Cricut Maker cut this fabric. So then if I want, because for some reason, I'm not able to cut this very well. Um, it's fraying everywhere. Um, so I wanna have the rotary cutter cut my squares for me. And then I may eventually just cut out the little logos and then press them, lay them all out on my heat press and then just press them after the maker cuts them out for me. That way I know the lines are gonna be straight. Because as you know, and I've said it before <laughs> in my videos, I'm obsessed with straight lines. So I think I'm gonna have my maker cut out my, my squares for me, but we're gonna do this. Okay, it's this piece over here that is messing with me. Come on. You guys are probably like, oh my God, she looks so sloppy right now. I feel like I'm being real sloppy right now, but I'm not. Okay, so now this is flat. Now I'm gonna do that with this piece, but I'm just gonna lay this on and I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna cut some pieces out. Sorry guys, please feel free to fast forward. I'm sure someone might get upset with me watching me having to tape this on here. Sorry. All right. So I'm just gonna tape these two sides down and and this side okay so i'm gonna let sit this in my heat press i'm not gonna press them for as long as i did the other ones um but i'll show you what they look like once i'm finished i shall return okay guys so these are hot off the press literally it is super hot i only did 50 seconds this time so let's go ahead and see what it looks like 
All right, so there's that one. And then let's see what this one looks like. Okay. So they both came out really, really nice. So here is my polyester, my polyester label that I can now cut and stitch onto my bags. I love it. And then here is this version here. So what I was actually thinking, I may not want to slice these just yet. I'm thinking I might want to just do uh, a little zigzag stitch around that and then cut it out. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and put the rest of the polyester into the Cricut Maker, have the Cricut cut out my squares. So off of camera, I'm going to measure what dimension I want for this logo. I believe this logo size is only an inch and a quarter. Um, being that it's not a long one, it's, it's just a little square. So I'm going to have um, my Cricut Maker cut out this fabric in squares for me. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and press these onto the squares and we'll see what that looks like. All right, guys, so here I've added a square behind my logo. So my logo is uh, an inch and a quarter, as previously mentioned. You really can't see it. Uh, let's see. Let me get this off the charger here. All right, so my logo is an inch and a quarter, and then there is that. So I feel like that square is a little too big. And that square size is almost two inches. So let's go ahead and make this square, mm, let's try one and a half and see if that's enough space for my logo. It's kind of tight because I do have to stitch it to whatever fabric I have, right? So let's do... Well, that looks good, 1.611. I'm gonna go ahead and align both of these items. Uh, align horizontally, align vertically. Okay, so I think that looks good. I feel like that's enough. Mm, maybe not, let's do one and, let's do one and three quarters. I wonder if that's going to be too big for a label. Maybe not. All right. If it wasn't just a square, then it might be easier, but it's what it is. Um, if I made, yeah, so I really don't think I want my logo much smaller. Uh, let me check real quick. Let's see. So here it is in my hand. That's actually really not that big, but I could probably, I've already designed those anyway, so I have plenty of those to cut. So yeah, we're going to leave it at one and three quarters. So for now, but this is just, you know, trial and error, but this is, overall is a tutorial on how you can make your own bag labels. So I'm going to leave it at one and three quarters for the squares. Oops. Okay, I don't want them attached. All right, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to duplicate a bunch of these squares, and then I'm just going to have my maker cut them. So once I figure that out, I will come back. All right, guys, so I have the fabric loaded. I've created my squares. This is either going to be a big fat fail on camera or it's gonna work. <laughs> so we're gonna see. So I set this to a burlap because it's kind of a thick fabric. So let's see, um, with the rotary cutter, it should be fine. So let's take a look if it cuts out my squares nicely. As it should, but as you can see, this frays immensely. And it's cutting out the squares perfectly. So yay, that's going to work. The, the key is not to uh, cinch your fabric so much, whereas it turns into 
um, a disaster because this fabric, once you put some heat on it, it melts really quick. So let's take a look and see what my squares look like. So I think I did eight or ten squares. Um, so I don't need to record the whole thing, so I shall return once again. All right, guys, so here is the reveal. We're going to see if this worked or not. It looks like, like, like it did. However, the fibers are so thick that if it's cut at an angle, it, it may fray even more. Um, ah, you can see all the fibers coming off. So that's it's the only thing about this here. Uh, let me get, where's my handy dandy spatula? My favorite spatula is this little old school skinny guy. So as you can see, it does fray a lot. Um, so if I pull that, it's going to... Yeah, that's the only thing with this. So, um, I would probably press it, and what might be a good idea, too, is to do a decorative stitch around it and then cut it out. But this is an easy way, and it, I'm sure there are other fabrics that you can use, not just the Cricut tote bag fabric that um, will press with the uh, infusible ink easily. So, this... Not sure if this is a pass or a fail, but even with the uh, rotary cutting the straight lines, this frays so much that um, you might be better off doing it by hand like I did this logo. So there we go. So there's your options on how to uh, infuse or make your own bag labels. And then all you have to do is take your lighter and cinch the ends up. And then there you go. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.